Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and uh, welcome to your second Node.js tutorial and thank you for believing in Node.js and uh, in this tutorial we'll be building our first server but first we'll need to see what a Node.js application looks like, okay? So before we do, let's see if we can run our hello world from a different file, okay? So we have this, this is my desktop and then just create a file anywhere. I will create a folder anywhere. I'll create it in my desktop and this is very wrong to create um, some of these folders in your desktop, but I've done many more worse things in my life. Okay, so we have, um, let's name it anything, anything at all. So I can call it anything at all. Okay, this is uh, the folder we are going to put our Node.js files. As, as I've told you before, Node.js is basically JavaScript. So all the files we'll be creating for Node.js is JavaScript. So you do this and then create a new text document and name it anything. I can just name this app.js, okay? App.js. Right now, if your, your, uh, your system is not showing this extension and you're running on Windows, um, what you will do is go to view right here. If you're on Windows 10, click on this, go to view, then all the way to the right, um, view, all the way to the right, and make sure that this is checked, file name extensions, okay? Um, but if you're on Windows 8, there is a tab around here on Windows 8 and Windows 7. On Windows 7, sorry, you click on it and um, it would, it's, the, the tab is named Organize. You click, click on Organize and click on File and Folder Options. The drop down, File and Folder Options, then you will see uh, a pop up box. You select View, and um, right there you will see a file name extension. Then check it, and then you're back here. Make sure that your, your PC is showing these extensions. So we have this crazy folder and this crazy file. I'll open it, and then um, it's empty. So let's do the first basic thing, which is um, console.log, and um, we have hello new world world. Okay, so I've saved this. What we'll do is open a Node.js um, file. Remember, this is the first uh, one we did. You remember how to open this? You click on your start menu and you type Node and you open it. Open this command prompt. Okay. So what we'll do is, um, remember we typed node and it opened this as a text editor. So we could type this hello, first hello world here. And it's still there as a text editor. So what, what you would do to exit this text editor and come back to your normal command prompt is press control C on your keyboard. You press control C the first time you are um, it's asking you if you want to exit this, then you press control C one more time and we are out of the text editor so these are normal node command prompt okay so we want to see if we can run this file that we created in our desktop so to run it you type node then you type the uh, the full address of where the file is so to get it what we'll do is to return the full return to the folder remember this folder we created in our desktop click here once and we have the full um, address so I'll copy it copy this address and this is the file we want to access using node and we are back to our node command prompt and we'll paste it I right clicked and it pasted otherwise you could use ctrl V then back and um, the name of the file is app.js so what we're basically saying is node hey go to this URL or this um, address when you get to the folder called anything this is the file we want you to read, app.js. So I click enter. And uh, guess, guess what? What we have is hello new world. Okay. So it's it's that easy. It's that uh, easy. Okay. Uh, but then this is this interface is boring. You can uh, accept that. That is why I just showed you this. So we can write our normal JavaScript codes and run it. Okay. So the first thing we want we will have to do is to see, hey, um, the parts that uh, make up a Node.js application. A Node.js application is made up of three parts. The first part is, uh, I hope you're seeing what I'm writing. 
you need to import a required modules in your in any node.js application you import the modules you want to work with then you create a server as a second option then in the final option the final part of your node.js application you read and you read and re request and return response you read request and return response okay so that that's it that's it basically the parts that make up a node.js application okay so it's just in these three steps all right the next thing we'll do is to try and create a server and uh, make sure it follows these uh, three steps so first of all i'll make sure i delete this first part let's create a server a server okay to create a server um, we will need um, a http instance we need to import remember the first part we need to import a http instance so we say um, var in javascript if you're familiar with javascript this is how to declare a variable in javascript so we we'll declare a variable and maybe call it anything but i choose to call my http we'll say equal to require http so the module we need is um, http module so we have required it which is imported it and then we've saved it in a variable so we can now start using this variable um, we can now say something like http.create server as you can see it's already here my text editor does it for me and the text editor i'm using is code lobster php edition and it's free absolutely free so if you need this text editor you go to google and search for code lobster php edition you download it and then register in your email and use the the key pass key they send to you and activate it it's free so create server as you can see there are two options i can do with http server and client and created server and inside it what we can have is a function and um, we can have two variables there request and um, response okay so far so good and um, I hope you're following what I'm doing. I just created a, a server, and uh, the first thing we are going to do inside our server is response the right head. So um, we're going to. This is basically sending the HTTP header. So in the header, um, the first thing we will do is to add 200. 200 means that everything is okay. HTTP status. This is the status. Status means okay. 200. Then the next thing we will have is um, specify the content type that we're expecting to get. The content type is um, content type. Remember um, to use exact casing and um, it is we're expecting only text or plain text okay that being settled the next thing we'll do is um, send the response body and uh, what we want to send in the response is um, hello people subscribe to my youtube channel all right um, that's all we need to do but then in node.js the server has to listen to a certain port okay in your system so the port is listening to um, let's just choose any port and um, i will choose 8081 so this server will, will kick off and start working if um, if we, we, it receives a call at the port 8081 and once it receives this call and the status is 200 okay you will get this response okay 
then what we would let's just tell ourselves something that the thing is working well so we can say um, console log and say server running well at localhost it's 81 or um, instead of localhost, we could just use the IP address 127.0.0.1. Okay, this is the same thing as localhost, typing it out um, in, in words, okay? So that being settled, what we can do to test what we have done is to use node to call this again. So uh, I've saved this file. Control S saves it. You can use your save button here. And then we're back to our interface. And let's see if we can run this. Copy. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And I'll hit enter. So what did we get? Server running well at this. So uh, our node command prompt ran this file and told us that. Uh, the server is running well at this okay and then um, what we can do is um, we'll go to our browser remember our browser and visit um, one two seven okay point zero point zero point one then colon eighty Remember, uh, the Node.js server is running on this PC and is waiting for any call to this um, server, to this port, okay? So when I hit enter, guess what happens? What does it tell me? It says, hello people, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I want to, I want to take you back to the code. Hello people, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, we made a call to the server and we got a response this. Also note that this 127.0.0.1 is the same thing as just typing local host and hit enter. Same thing. Okay, so this is how to build a server in Node.js and how to run a Node.js file from your command prompt. And I hope you understand it so easily and it's so beautiful. In the next tutorials, we'll do more cute and cool things, okay? And um, don't forget to subscribe to my famous YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash C slash Brintem O-R-G. Okay. And when you get there, don't forget to subscribe. So thank you very much. See you in the next video tutorial.